Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have a book haul for y'all. Y'all are in for a treat. I have so many books to haul today. I love doing book hauls and I just love gushing about books. And most of these books I love. So I'm so excited to have them for my collection now and even have some ones I haven't read before. So we have kind of like two different categories here and then there's some miscellaneous ones, but the two main ones are Christmas gifts. And then the other one is a big haul that I gifted myself with some Christmas money. First, I want to share all of the wonderful books my friends have sent me and viewers have sent me for Christmas. Like y'all are crazy. Some of y'all even sent graduation presents, which you did not need to do, but y'all are so sweet. Um, I did graduate in December, so that was just so, so nice of y'all. I like my person, so we're gonna be doing that. So my lovely friend Aspatia over at Asparagus is reading. I'm gonna be tagging everyone below, by the way. Um, so you can check them out. All of these people are amazing. All of them, I believe all of them, that I'm about to talk about have booktube channels uh, besides my, my family who gifted me something. So um, this one, these four are from Aspatia. She helped me four books. I've already told her that she needs to stop because she spoils me for literally no reason all the time and she just needs to stop. So <laughs> one of them is uh, Damaged Goods by Talia Hibbert. This is book number 1.5 in her, what is it, Ravenswood? Is that what the series? Yes, Ravenswood series. This is one of my favorite series ever by Talia Hibbert. This one is so good. It's a second chance romance where she's pregnant with her husband's baby, but her husband is not great to her. So she seeks and seeks an escape to her old uh, small town that she used to vacation at. And there she comes across her long lost first love, Samir. And uh, this book is fantastic. She also got me The Orc from the Office by Kate Pryor. This is one of my monster romances that I read this year and my first Kate Pryor book that I have physically. So thank you so much, Aspatia. This one is a workplace monster romance about an orc and a human falling in love. Very cute. I really liked this one. And then she also got me two historicals. This one is A Week to be Wicked. The, huh, what number in this? I think second book. I think this is her second book in her Spindle Cove series. Let me check. Yes, Spindle Cove series. This one is a road trip. I don't normally like road trip romances, but I love them in historicals. So this is a good road trip historical romance. And then she also got me <laughs> Darling Beast by Elizabeth Hoyt. This is book number seven, I believe, in the Maiden Lane series. I've only read book seven and book eight. So uh, this one is really good. Historical romance. The hero uh, was injured when he was in jail and his vocal cords don't work and he's trying to fix up the landscaping job at this theater and the heroine is an actress in this theater and she has a son, she's a single mom and it's so good. Thank you so much, Aspatia. I'm so happy to have these four books in my collection. Then my friend Rachel over at Rachel C. Reads, I believe that's her channel name, correct me if I'm wrong, that might be her Instagram handle. I don't know, it's gonna be linked down below. I apologize, Rachel, I am not good remembering stuff. Anyway, um, she was so sweet. She actually sent me a card that was supposed to have like a keychain. I think she made? I think she made the keychain. Like it was supposed to be in the letter, in the envelope. And then when I got the envelope, the envelope was like broken. It looked like literally the paper like exploded. So all that was in there was the card. I was like, oh, she sent me a really nice card. Amazing. And then I saw on Instagram that people were getting these keychains in their envelope. And I was like, Rachel, I think the post office like lost the keychain. I'm so sorry. And then she was like, oh, don't worry. And then she sent me a book. Rachel, no. <laughs> You did not have to do this. Um, but I'm so grateful to have this for my collection. This is Falling Embers by Katherine Cowles, book two in the Tattered and Horn series. Thank you so much, Rachel. You totally did not have to do that. You are so incredibly sweet. It was so wonderful meeting you this year and I can't wait to see you again in June. Then Nikki from Nikki and Bookland, a sweet, sweet friend of mine that I made last year, sent me Hearts and Darkness by Laura Kay. This is one of my favorite novellas ever. Brie from Love with Words got me hooked onto this series and this author specifically. But this is about a couple who meets in in an elevator but they don't know what the other person looks like okay so wait so one person on the, is on the elevator the other person joins gets on the elevator too the elevator gets stuck all the lights turn off and they don't know what the other person looks like because they didn't look up when the other people entered the elevator um so these two are stuck in the elevator and then they 
get to know each other and kind of like fall for each other in one happenstance moment on this elevator. It's so good. Thank you so much, Dickie. Then my lovely friend Spirit, she also has a booktube channel. She also has an Etsy store. I always have her store link down below with my code Avery10. Um, she makes these beautiful like graphic design bookmarks that I just love. So be sure to go check out her Etsy if you have not yet. I'm just gushing about my friends, okay? This is a excuse to do that. So she sent me Unlikely Match by Laura Bradbury. Um, this one looks so good. This is a transplant representation romance. Its own voices. Our author, Laura, um, is like the heroine in here and she has to go through a lot of transplants due to some chronic illnesses. And I just can't wait to read this. I've talked to the author online and uh, like messaged her and DM'd her and she is so very sweet and so kind. And so this just looks so good. And I hope, I bet it has amazing chronic illness rep. And thank you so much Spirit for sending this one my way. It looks so good. And this is also saying something that um, I have a book I have not read yet on my wish list. Like that's how badly I want to read it. Normally my wish list is full of books that I've already read and loved so I could just have them for my collection. Whereas like, I'm just dying to read this book. So I needed to have it physically. Then my sweet friend Riley over at Riley Marie ended up sending me Work For It by Tully Hibbert. We gifted each other Tully Hibbert this year. I think that is amazing for us. We both adore this author. And so I am so eternally grateful that she sent this one my way because Tully Hibbert is fantastic. This is one of my favorite books from 2022. And I am thrilled to have this in my little Tolly Hebert section over there. <laughs> it looks kind of bare now because I got a few of them <laughs> that are supposed to go where that is. So um, this one is a M.M. Grumpy Sunshine romance that is to die for. And I loved meeting you in person this year, Riley, and I hope we can do it again. Another person who <laughs> spoiled me, Tiffany. Tiffany from Tiff Talks Pages. She sent me four bucks. Tiffany, you, you need to stop, please. Y'all need to stop. <laughs> Tiffany also fed my like alien romance, fantasy romance soul with these books because she just added to uh, this side of my bookcase. <laughs> like that's where all these books belong. And this is my alien shelf and then my fantasy shelf. So she totally fed my soul with these books. Thank you so much, Tiffany. I got to meet her twice this year, twice. I love you, girl. I love you. Okay, so she of course sent me some fantasy alien romances. So first I have His Darkest Craving by Tiffany Roberts, their new cover. This is the new illustrated cover. It is stunning. I love it. This is a monster romance, human with a shadow demon entity. That's like fae-ish. So good. We have Toxic Desire by Robin Lovett, one of my favorite alien romance books. This is an enemies to lovers romance that takes place on an aphrodisiac planet, but they're enemies, but they have to get with each other on this planet or else like they'll like be in horrible pain. So underrated. Then I have Claimed by the Horde King by Zoe Driven, the second book in the Horde Kings of Dakar series, one of my favorite alien romance series from 2022. And lastly, I have The Fake King's Curse by Jamie Schlosser, one of my favorite fantasy romances that I read recently and it is so good. Fantasy romance with faded mates to die for. So um, thank you so much, Tiffany. You are so incredibly sweet. Then my bestie, my best friend Zay, she sent me two books and they're two books that I've been dying to have in my collection and I can't wait to see Zay this year. I'm like, I could cry right now. I'm so excited to meet her. Like we're gonna be roomies at Book Bonanza. Like girl, I love you. I'm so excited to meet you in person. Um, Anyway, I just wanna gush about Zay all day long because she is perfect. I love her. Anyway, um, she got me a book four in the Perfectly Imperfect series by Neva Altaj. This is Ruined Secrets. Her cover is always so stunning. This is her, again, Perfectly Imperfect series. It's a mafia romance series. And every single book either has like neurodivergence, disability, mental health representation, and it is so good. This one has amnesia in it. It's age gap. Like, I love it. And then she also sent me Finding Jean Kelly by Tori Jean. This is one of my favorite books of the year. It wasn't, it didn't make my top 10 yet. It like, it's one of those honorable mentions that I didn't put in the video, but that I was thinking of, you know? This has amazing endometriosis representation and Tori Jean is becoming one of my favorite authors ever. Like, she is so sweet and so kind. And I feel like the way she also interacts with reviewers on Instagram is like, I feel like the model of how all authors should interact with people on Instagram like they're readers because she just cares so much about readers and reviewers and I really appreciate that and this book was just fantastic. I really love this book and I need more people to read it because the representation here was just fantastic and it totally fed my baking soul. <laughs> okay I got my second stack. <laughs> 
There's a lot of books. Okay. Next, I got two books from Jen from The Book Refuge. She was my secret Santa, actually, so she sent me a bunch of other goodies as well. So thank you so much, Jen. One of them is a book sleeve sitting up there that she made, which was so sweet. So she fed my historical romance salt. <laughs> I love my historical romance shelves so much. And I know they're not like in frame for like any of my videos. So, cause I just have too many shelves, but um, I love having these in my collection because I loved both of these. So she got me Never Love a Highlander by Maya Banks. And Maya Banks was an author that re we really connected on. So I love how she got me this, especially this book because we've talked about this book before. And then this is Up All Night with a Good Duke by Amy Rose Bennett. I really loved this one in 2022. Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sinks got me hooked onto this book and the second book comes out in February. So I'm dying, I'm dying to read the second book. But this one is like a um, warrior woman romance. Like she's she's supposed to be like a Laird's daughter just to like marry, to like get in an arranged marriage, like unite families. However, she's like not the type of woman just sit in the house and cook and run a household. Like she is a warrior woman. Like she wants to fight and her husband is really struggling with letting her do that. But don't worry, he, he does some groveling, he does some groveling. This one's really cool, our heroine is like, has a secret identity where she's like a, like, a gothic romance author. Like, it's so cool, I really like this one. Thank you so much, Jen. You are so sweet for sending these to me. A friend that I made in 2022 is Johanna from My Cozy Bookspace. I love her channel. I am, I need more people to go check out her channel, please. I love her channel so much. She has a lot of similar reading tastes to me, so, it was so incredibly sweet to get these two books in the mail from her. She bought me my first ever Beverly Jenkins. This is Forbidden by Beverly Jenkins. I don't own a Beverly Jenkins, so thank you. I don't even know what this is about, but thank you. Um, and then she also got me a book that I've been having on my wish list for years, and I never expected someone to actually buy it for me. It was like on the wish list for myself to remind me, hey, you need to get this whenever you have the time. But this is like a beautiful stunning edition of Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Now, the Bronte sisters were one of the main ways I got into classic literature and one of the main reasons why I love reading. I love the Bronte sisters. I love Jane Austen. I love that era of romance. Mr. Rochester was my first toe dip into the um, toxic man. <laughs> You know, like those dark heroes that are toxic that you shouldn't like, but you totally do, you know? Like that's Mr. Rochester in here. <laughs> um, if you don't know about Jane Eyre, what are you doing with your life? But um, this book is just stunning. I have her note taped in here, but it is beautiful. And like, I just can't get over how stunning this is. And look, it even has a quote on the back that says, I am no bird, no net ensnares me. I'm a free human being with an independent will. Look at how beautiful so much girl i am so glad that we became friends this year like i'm dying to meet you i'm dying then rachel my lovely friend rachel from rachel reason sings sent me learn my lesson by katie robert this is a book we both love and i'm so excited to have this in my collection and i'm so happy <laughs> that i have this now and i just love rachel i love you so much my friend you are so 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 sweet for sending this to me i forgot to even mention what this is about but <laughs> i was just wanting to talk about rachel anyway this is a hades meg and hercules three-person relationship. It gets pretty chili pepper, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Another person that spoiled me, <laughs> four books, is from Morgan. Morgan from Nothing Better Than a Book got me four books. Again, Morgan, Morgan, <laughs> Morgan. She is so sweet, y'all. I adore Morgan and she is someone I get to meet finally this year and I am so excited to give her a giant hug. Um, but she was so sweet. She sent me so many contemporary romances. So first we have Tattered Stars by Catherine Cowles, the first book in the Tattered and Torn series. I really enjoy this one as the first book in that series. She kind of introduced me to Adriana Locke. I watched her videos and I know that Adriana Locke is going to Book Bonanza, which is where Morgan and I will be meeting each other for the first time. And I read this friend to lovers earlier this year and put it on my wish list and she got it for me. Thank you so much, Morgan. And then she also got me this little novella, Forever Wild by K.A. Tucker. I have read this, um, but I didn't have a physical copy of it. And yeah, this is just a novella that takes place um, after The Simple Wild, but it's kind of like 2.5 in the series, if that makes sense. And then one that I just love, we have Eleanor and Gray by Brittany C. Cherry. Thank you so much, Morgan. This is one of my favorite books by Brittany. So you just fed, fed my Brittany obsession, okay? Uh, thank you so much. 
I, I love you, my sweet friend. Then Becky ended up sending me two books. Becky also has a booktube channel if you would like to check her out. Thank you so much, Becky. You are so incredibly sweet. Her channel is linked down below, by the way. Please go check her out. She sent me two amazing books. So first is It Ain't Me Babe by Tilly Cole. This is a motorcycle romance that I really, really enjoyed reading. And I am so excited to have a copy for my shelves. This one is like a heroine who escapes a cult and the hero who does not speak because he has a stutter. And um, he's embarrassed to speak because of his stutter. Um, and it's it's their romance, but she escapes this cult. And then Becky said this is her favorite read of the year and she had to get it for me. And I was like, oh my God, okay. Um, this is I'm Married to Naga by Regine April. I did also read this book this year and it is so good. This is a um, alien romance. So it's gonna be going on my alien romance shelf. It's just growing. My alien romance shelf is, is growing and I love it. Anyway, I think this is a part of the Prime Mating Agency series. First one is I Married a Lizard Man, I think. So this is I Married a Naga. So these are all books where human women are put in like these kind of like mail order bride or marriage alliance situations uh, with aliens. So this is a human woman with a Naga alien and it was a really, really, really good. Thank you so much, Becky. You are so, so sweet. And the last book that I received from a friend online, um, this is Using Feho by Victoria Abilene. A sweet viewer and friend of mine, Lana, um, her Instagram's gonna be linked down below. It's underscore here for the plot. Um, but we chat on Instagram sometimes and uh, she is just so sweet for sending this my way. This is one of my favorite alien romances of the year. It like would be number 11. That's why I didn't make my top 10. It would be like number 11. <laughs> this is her fourth book in the Clicanian series, which is an alien romance series that I just adored. And also just look at him. Mr. Feho here. <laughs> this is a space pirate one, by the way. I love me a good space pirate. So thank you so much, Lana. She sent this as a gift for graduating. So you are so incredibly sweet. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. I'm going to pop in here for a second because um, I actually got a book while I was editing this video. So sweet. So my lovely friend Aramis, I'll link her channel below. I love her book reviews so much. She is getting into the romance genre. I, I, I just love, love, love the way she talks about books. Um, she reads a lot of fantasy too, by the way, if you love fantasy. Um, but she's one of my oldest friends here on booktube and so I treasure our friendship so much and she was so sweet and sent me Isn't It Romantic by Alyssa K. Adams. She sent this as a graduation gift. Girl, you are so sweet. I read this one in 2022 and I really liked it, especially the gluten intolerant representation in here because I really relate to Vlad in that aspect. But this is one of the books in Lizzie K. Adams' um, romance book club series where these guys are in a romance book club so they can learn more about women and how to like please them. So um, I know that Aramis like adores this series. So I thought this was very fitting and so sweet of her to send my way. So thank you so much, Aramis. You are so incredibly sweet. I also want to mention a package that I got in the mail from an author. Lucy Morris is now one of my new favorite historical romance authors because she writes fantastic Viking romances. I love them. And she's been so incredibly sweet and sending me her releases. So the last book in her recent trilogy came out. This is Beguiling Her Enemy Warrior. And I, I haven't read this series yet. I've read her other two books that are not a part of this series. Um, so not perfect though, because now I can marathon all three of these books. Um, but these Becky romances are so good. Like she is amazing with her Becky romances. I love it. So with her book that she very so kindly sent to me, I was sent a few goodies as well. Oh, and I also want to mention she signed it because she's awesome. Look at that. I think this is the publisher is Mills and Boone. Um, there's this cute little pouch that says kiss and make up. And then I put the little things on the inside. Um, but this one is a compact mirror that says smile on it. And then there's a few stickers. This one says romance and chill. This one says you read romance. That's hot. <laughs> and then this one says uh, eat, sleep, read romance, repeat my my daily routine ladies and gentlemen and then the last thing in that package was this tote bag i love it this one says i'd rather be reading romance look at how cute she is so sweet for saying this my way thank you so much lucy this was so nice i can't wait to marathon your series i got three books from my parents for christmas so first one is something really cool. This is a uh, creative cookie decorating book by Emily Hutchinson. Look at how cool this is. I've been really getting into cookies and cookie decorating and um, I feel like this is just gonna be a great, great useful tool to have. And like, look at how stunning also some of these cookies look. 
Like I wanna do the flower ones so badly. They just look so cute. And then every Christmas and for my birthday, I either get one or two of the Barnes and Noble collector's edition. And so um, I got the two that have been on the top of my list. So my mom was so sweet to get these for me. They're all lined up on the very tip top of my bookcase. If you wanna see what I already have, um, my bookshelf tour is linked down below if you wanna check that out. Um, but the two that are at the tip top of my list that I've been dying to have um, are these two. So this is the collector's edition of Phantom of the Opera with the gold edges, there's the bookmark, the beautiful spine, and uh, there's a bunch of other authors, little stories in here too. The Phantom of the Opera is also something my mom and I really, really, really bonded over when I was growing up because she was obsessed with the movie, then I got obsessed with the movie and we would just watch the movie on repeat. Our uh, One of our bucket lists in life is to see the musical on Broadway one day, even though I think they're like ending performances right now, um, which is so tragic. So hopefully it gets put back on Broadway when, um, before my mom and I die, obviously. So it's definitely on our bucket list, um, but she's already seen it before, but we wanna see it together. This is the other one that I've been dying to have. This is the Winnie the Pooh Barnes and Noble Collector's Edition. It is so beautiful. I love it. Look when you open it. It's a hundred acre woods, look at that. And it's just, it's so beautiful. I've been waiting for this for a while. And like, not all Barnes and Noble has has this version. Like every time I go into a Barnes and Noble, they don't have it <laughs> or they don't carry it. And my mom was like, I almost gave up finding it. And then I turned one corner and it was tucked in the corner somewhere. So she was so sweet getting this for me. So I'm very happy to have all of those books in my collection now. The last section of this video are gonna be books that I bought myself. First, I ended up buying Two Wrongs Make a Right by Chloe Liza. This is her new release that came out in, was it November? I think it was November, <laughs> November of 2022. I've already read this. I actually have a live show. I'll link it down below, Brie and I from 11 Words. Um, we buddy read this book for our book club, Chronically Courageous Book Club, um, and we have a live show all about it. So I ended up getting this copy from a specific bookstore that she sells her books from. Um, it's like a local indie bookshop, I believe, by her. Um, you can uh, order it there and it'll be signed and personalized. And then you also get two exclusive art prints, which is so cool. So this is a retelling of Much Ado About Nothing, um, which is a Shakespeare play, obviously. Um, and yeah, they fake date. And it's, it's, I really like this one. I give it five stars. So um, I really love the fan art in here as well. So I believe now you can do this for all of her like upcoming releases is if you go to her Instagram, like it'll link you to the bookshop where you can get a book like this from. I believe she just announced the next book of the Bergman Brothers series and you can do that with the next one as well. So if you want a personalized signed copy of her books, be sure to, oh, I think you can also do it for backlist titles. I think I read about that, but you have to get it from that specific bookstore, not like Amazon or anything. All of the rest of these books I got at a half price books. <laughs> we went to my aunt's house in Austin for the weekend and on our way home, I had to find a new half price books because I know the half price books already in our location. So um, every time you, you go buy a new place, you got to look for the, for the half price books. Okay. Cause they have amazing new things there. First, I have Flirting With Forever by Cara Bastone. This is her third book in the uh, Forever Yours series. I read the first two books in the series and really enjoyed it. I just need to read the book number 0.5 and this one. So I'm happy to have this in my collection now. This is a really good contemporary romance series that like more people need to read. It's so underhyped. I next found Wicked Intentions by Elizabeth Hoyt, the first book in her Maiden Lane series. And well, it has a step back. <laughs> and then it is also a first edition and it is what has a bookmark in here but it's also signed look at that so cool then I found Jacob by Jacqueline Frank I saw this on a shelf and I immediately bought it I don't even know what it's about I think it's paranormal but I know that Brie from Love and Words loves this book and it like really got her into the romance genre so I just had to get it look how iridescent it is um but yeah I just saw the cover and I was like that looks familiar Brace talked about it. I need it. <laughs> Next, I have Dark Lover by J.R. Ward. This is the edition I did not have. Um, I have like the not as good like man covers. Um, I love, I prefer this one way more to than the man cover I have. I have all the other books in the older editions except for Dark Lover. So I, I found this one at Goodwill because I also went to a Goodwill and I just had to snag it up. This is the first book in a vampire romance series. Next is an iconic one, okay? I found Pirate by Fabio. Fabio, okay, we all know what's gross written. Um, but look, it's Fabio, okay? And then when you open it up, 
you have this. It says, for you alone, Fabio. Look at that. <laughs> I had to get it. How can you, like, as a romance reader, see this and then not get it? It's iconic. I don't know if I'll ever read this, but, like, I have Fabio's book. I found four Karen Hawkins books that I didn't already own yet. Karen Hawkins is becoming one of my favorite historical romance authors, so anytime I see one of her books in half price books that I don't own yet, I have to snag it up, especially if it has a step back. So first, I want to mention these three books. I believe they're in the same series because all their covers look very similar and the titles are very similar as well. Um, I don't know what order they go in. I'm just gonna, I'm not going in order. I'm just gonna show you what they are. But this is To Scotland with Love by Karen Hawkins. Next is Sleepless in Scotland. Look at that one. That's gonna be a good step back Saturday, okay? And then lastly, I have How to Abduct a Highland Lord. That title sounds good. And then the step back is iconic to me. <laughs> I love it. And then the other one that I found by Karen Hawkins is Lady in Red. I don't think that's from the same series, but this is another stunning step back. I next found this edition of Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Like, look at that. And then it is also one with a step back. I didn't even know these existed. So cool. The spine is stunning. I already have a version of Outlander, but this is just so cool. I could not pass it up and it's so shiny and beautiful. Next, I found a Johanna Lindsay I did not already have in my collection. So this is Surrender My Love. And this is the one where he looks like he's not wearing pants, but he is. It's like tan pants. Like he's wearing pants. You just like, it's, it's, his pants is gold color. Next, I found this vampire one at Goodwill with Dark Lover. I found two vampire romances. I wonder if they're from the same person, if they, if the same person sold those two books. Anyway, this is A Darker Dream by Amanda Shirley. I believe, like, she gets sold by her family to a vampire for, like, a debt or something. I'm very intrigued. I also see everyone reading Teresa Medrios. Anytime I see one of her books, I have to pick it up, especially if it has a stunning step back like this one. This is One Night of Scandal this iridescent shiny cover and then this beautiful step back like I wish I lived there like that that looks beautiful I'm also trying to pick up historicals not based off covers I want to start picking up historicals based off of the summary instead of the cover but I ended up loving both of these covers and the summary really intrigued me on both of them so this is Reforming a Rake by Suzanne Enoch and the summary for this one sounded really good I can't remember what it is now but at the time I'm very intrigued by this. And then the same thing goes for To Wed a Highland Bride by Sarah Gabriel. I love the cover for this one, but I do remember reading the summary and being like, ooh, that sounds good. And then the last book for this haul is one that just is beautiful to me. Another historical romance author that I really loved in 2022 was Linda Needham. Um, I've heard nobody talk about Linda Needham, but I really loved For a Lady's Kiss. I, I adored it. So I saw this hardcover and I was like, I saw the spine and I was like, Oh my gosh, that's Linda Needham. What is this? And so this is My Wicked Earl. And look at that. I don't know what this is about. I don't know what this is about, but um, I how could you pass that up? Beautiful. I think this is the first uh, hardback one with like a step back on the back that I own. So very excited to have this. This is beautiful. I wish I could just display the back of this on my shelves. Like, I think I might do that. It says she was a dangerous rebel in need of taming and he was the man to tame her, but he never dreamed his heart would be mastered. Ooh, that sounds really good. Okay, y'all, that was a very large book haul. Thank you so much for anyone who sent me a book or a card or a message or a text in like any way. Y'all are so incredibly sweet. Y'all have made December so special for me. Thank you. 2022 overall was a very hard year for me and y'all made it incredibly, incredibly special. So I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a purple heart emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.